Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and welcome to Spain where you join me for what is going to be a seriously exciting video ahead. I've come out here kindly invited by Mercedes-Benz UK because behind me you can see a bright yellow car. That's not my A35, that is the A45S and I'm here for the first drive of this car. I get a chance to probably push it, I get a chance to use drift mode, I get a chance to really just maximise it to the full potential of what I've bought because if you're not aware one of these is going to be coming to my garage and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to drive it and really feel what it is going to be like and we couldn't do it in a better place than here because we are at Harama Racing Circuit. Having owned an A45 for roughly a year, the first one, um, I was so keen when I knew that this car was coming out. My order was straight down and uh, yeah, that's gonna replace my A35. But let's get cracking. Let's get looking at one of the cars which is here before we go for a drive. And this is an A45S. Um, yeah, 420 brake horsepower. You can get it in this yellow, you can get it in another colour as well, which I'll show you in just a second. But one of these is coming to my garage and it is all very exciting. The car which we have here, this car does not have the aero pack on it. So it doesn't have an aero pack, um, but you can spec that how you want. My car is going to have an aero pack, it's going to have a four aero pack. And I will explain probably the colour which I'm going to go for as well. It is so nice in here. It really is another ball game. But let's walk a little bit further down here because what we have just here, and this is a different coloured one. So like I say, you can spec them ha lots of different colours. And I do like this kind of matte grey which is going on here uh, with the silver wheels as well. Again, this car does not have the aero pack. As you can see, there's no aero pack on there, but I do like the colour. Again, this is not the colour which I'm going to go for. We have the CLA um, that I parked up, so you can also get it in this red colour. And I do believe you can get the A45S in this red colour as well. Hello. <laughs> it is time to go around the circuit. How do I look? I'm not sure what this whole balaclava thing is uh, what's going on here. Uh, but let's jump in. We're going in. We are going to go around the track and Bernd Schneider, who is a legendary DTM driver, he's going to be uh, going ahead of us in the GTR and we're going to be following behind in the A45. It's really very cool. So <laughs> let's all jump in. And I cannot wait for this. I look like a bit of an idiot. Don't I? GTR is leading the pack. And I'm going to be second in line. Oh, I love the GTR. More on that in a second. But he's going to be following Bernd Schneider, a legendary DTM driver. The DTM champion is going to be taking me around. He's going to be in the front. I'm going to be second. And then Matt Watson from Carwell is actually going to be third in line. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool convoy going on here. We are in. We are ready to go. Oh, yes, the new interior. We're in the A45S. Let's shut the door. I'm in here, there's Bernd, he's uh, going to tell me the walkie-talkie, which I have here. He's going to tell me to go. We're on. Okay, and we are leaving the pit lane. And what's going to happen, I've got Bernd Schneider ahead of me, and we just had a little chat. I said, do you remember Spa 24 Hours 2012, we used to race each other. And he went, ah yes. He, I think he won it, and I, uh, I actually crashed out, so that wasn't ideal. Uh, but what we're doing is we're doing a couple of laps to really get used to this car and get a proper feel for it. He's ahead of me in the GTR, um, but it's just me and him. So we, he said, basically said, yeah, we'll, we'll go for a hoon. So that's exactly what we're doing with a DTM champion, just me and him on the circuit to get a proper chance to feel this car. Oh, his understeering is feeling good, but he's ahead in the GTR. This is epic. The car is quick. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, a little bit of understeer, but how we just got out and we've pushed it to the limit instantly. Honestly, guys, the way now that this car is, it's a different ball game. It's a different ball game. I'm throwing it into corners and it's just handling. Look, look at that bit of understeer. And then you can just kind of drift it all the way out. It's got speed! It's got proper speed! As we take it through the left, the GTR, you can see it moving around a bit, braking, lights flashing, and then we're turning in, let's carry a bit more speed. Listen to that, that's understeer. <laughs> and out, 420 brake, the lights all flashing ahead of me. 
braking all the way and I'm actually braking with my left foot to get the car into trail the, the brakes into the corner but honestly the gearbox now everything just makes oh a little bit going onto the straight it makes the A35 and things like that just a little bit irrelevant it's crazy in comparison flat out to over 200 kilometers an hour and they're braking nice and hard but even on the brakes it's just very 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 even like track focus look but the handling the handling is chaos and you still have that bang on the upshift which is so nice as well oh, it's a proper bit of kit it is an absolute proper bit of kit i'm putting proper pressure into the left Walk bit curb, using my left foot. In we go. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. This, when everyone was worrying, being like, oh, it's going to be over 50 grand. I don't know a car at 50 grand which handles better than this. I mean, I'm on Sport Plus. I can actually whack it up another one to powerful. Oh, now I'm on total another mode up. I thought Sport Plus was the best. No, we got another one. I'm going to say this right now. Right now. I'm going to be doing track days in my A45S. Because it's that flipping good. Whoa. In we go. Bang. I'm hitting the brakes at such high pressure. And it just takes it. And now we're on the cool down part. But... I didn't expect it with everything. I, I don't think I've even played with half of it, to be honest. I think there's a lot more which I can play with to get it to, you know, what I want in terms of all the different mods you've got. I'm really impressed as I've got a G-Force meter ahead of me flashing. It's, it's this interior and stuff. It's everything about it, the character. It's got character. It's got the pops and the bangs as you upshift, but it's got the handling. You can now get an A, 45s and you can drive it you can hoon it you can take it to the track you can take it to the shops you can use it it doesn't look too in your face well the color i'm getting is not as well and i think what they've done with it is they've changed this has changed the game i mean if you compare like an rs3 and all of them it's not it's, you can't even compare it for real it's the power, you know, there's another step in power as well. There's another step in power, but also like the brakes. I noticed yeah. the brakes are really solid. Yeah. And you could probably do a track day in it and it'd be fine. Yeah. The, the good thing is, you know, that car, you, can you imagine now we have 36 degrees? Yeah. And it's still headed perfect. I mean, and that's why I'm not seeing these leaks. Yeah. And you can get steam six on that car as well. So I've jumped out of going around the circuit in the yellow A45S and that was really good fun to get a proper chance to push it, the handling of it. It's so different to what I expected. I didn't know what I expected, but I expected it to maybe move around a little bit, but it was very direct. It just turns in where you want to turn it. The gearbox is like, uh, sort of like a supercar. It's very fast, especially on the upshift. Um, and the way, it's, the way it handles, honestly, it's another ball game. And in the hatchback uh, category, which this car is in, it's a mighty hatchback, isn't it? It's just not like the others. This is uh, going to trounce everything, mark my words. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to take this car for a drive on the road. It's one thing driving on a track, but it's another thing getting a chance to drive it on the road. I'm taking, does not have the aero pack, and uh, I'm going to be specking the aero pack, that's for sure. It's got a brown kind of interior in it, and I know you can spec that. The spec sheet is uh, crazy. And uh, I'll take you through my spec also. Some people, as I've mentioned already, will not spec the aero pack, but for me, it's key. Uh, that rhyme didn't mean really to that to rhyme. Uh, but the front of these is where I think they've come on massively. You've got this very nice modern day uh, front grille, even beefier than my A35. And I thought that was beefy, the A35. Oh as uh, one of an aero pack comes in. These are the brown seats. Yeah, I do like the brown. Maybe I wouldn't spec it myself, but um, yeah, I do think it's cool. My spec is gonna have the aero pack, one million percent, but it's with the new exhaust and everything. It's cool. Anyway, what I wanna do is I want you guys to be able to hear the sound of it, which we're gonna do now, uh, with it stood still also. Uh, the pops and the bangs and comfort sport, sport plus and race. <laughs> Yeah. 
this steering wheel. I keep looking at it. I just think it's great. I think it's really great. I've actually just put a route which I've planned out in the nav ahead. And earlier I had my sort of uh, G-force which came up there. And I know you can sort of change a lot on here. You can really just change it just as you can see, uh, just on this little touch pad, very similar to my uh, A35 to be honest with you, probably identical to be honest, but you can change it all there. Sport, Super Plot, Super Sport, if you change the Sport, it will change. There you go, you get the setup what I have on my car at the moment, I do like that. I think Super Sport's more for the track, um, that's basically what that's for. So if we go back, we will be able to change that once again. Uh, understated, what does understated do? Oh, just makes it very understated. <laughs> you can see here, that will tell you what your exhaust mode's on. So if you go just to here, you can press that, and then the exhaust goes on. And you can see at the bottom, powerful, balanced, powerful, balanced. I love how they've done that, and now your Sport Plus and everything is all here. So you just press it, or you turn it actually, Sport Plus. in 3.9 seconds it's a lot I mean it's a lot 420 brake horsepower I mean for what I need as a daily this car is perfect and this is why I've gone and purchased one and first impressions is straight away on the road we're in Sport Plus now so let's actually go to comfort turn it all off it's much more comfortable than the old one and that's gonna sound very sort of generic but it's very smooth, you can turn it all off. And that's what I do actually quite like about these new Mercedes these days, is you can just turn it off very quickly and the noise is literally gone. In my old car, I still had a bit of a And I cannot wait for mine to arrive. When is mine arriving? I'm thinking end of the year. Could be sort of November, December time, fingers crossed. And what spec am I gonna be specking mine? You're probably wondering as well. Well, the spec I'm going for, it's gonna be all stealth. So black with the aero kit, black wheels, um, I think that's the smartest option. I just, I, I've looked into so many different colors, looked into the gray, I know there's a red one, but I think for me, my first A, uh, A45 is black, and I think blacked out uh, with the black wheels, etc., will be perfect. I mean, there are so many different colors you can choose from. Yellow's not an option because of my A35, uh, but when the new A45 arrives, the A35 will go, will go, basically, that will go. Um, but this, compared to the A35, is even more smoother. So the A35, you can feel a bit of the road bumps as well, but this, you really, it's sort of, everything is so much more refined. It's a, the big brother of the A35. It's not meaning that the A35 is bad, because it's not. And on this little cruise, which I'm doing down the motorway, um, it's very, very, very nice. Uh, but yeah, like I say, all stealth, um, black with black wheels, etc. Yeah, I just kind of wait. And what's the price going to be of it? The price of this car is going to be late 50s. Are they going to hold in price? Well, it's going to be a new car, so I, don't, I just don't know. I actually don't know. It's going to lose something, isn't it? But I'm hoping if I can get one of the first cars, this will maybe help me a little bit with the with the market. But it's, one, it's something where I wouldn't need to sell it. Like I don't need to sell this because I want to use it. I'm not buying this car to flip. I want to use it. I know why you need any more than this on the road. You actually don't. You can use it all year round as well. It's not just a summer car where you can have the sunroof. That's another thing I've spec'd as well. They've basically just gone to all of the cars in its, cat in its rivals, the RS3, etc. And just gone, well, over to you. So my driving with this car is now sort of over. Um, and like I say, my one, it's going to be coming shortly. Fingers crossed. I've, I was actually just talking to the guys here and I was like, can I have it a little bit earlier? September, there's a small chance, but I've, I've, I've asked the question. So fingers crossed, all stealth, all blacked out. That's what my car's going to be like. But where we are here, look at this. Look at the location of where we are. And there's a swimming pool down there with a car on display. But look how amazing this is here in Madrid. It's, uh, wasn't expecting this, that's for sure. And then they're serving food over there. I have asked the question if I can go swimming in there. And they were like, mm, maybe not. And I was like, well, it does look very, very nice. New shooting brake CLA 45S Formatic Plus. It's, uh, it's a cool bit of kit, that's for sure. But in a stunning location. Would you go for 
the shooting brake or would you go for the small one? But I think shooting brake has got a lot more presence. And I'm gonna say it, look at it sat there because look at it, look at it sat there. So I'm now just chilling out by the pool here in Spain, casual. I mean, is that casual? Not really. Uh, but it's been a great trip, it really has. A massive thank you to Mercedes-Benz UK for inviting me here to get a proper chance to drive the A45S in anger around the track as well. And just never expect it to be like it was and uh, my car will be coming soon to the channel so I'm looking forward to that sort of content as well and stealth we're gonna go stealth black wheels blacked out aero pack everything I think I'm gonna totally spec it to the hills I just think it's one of those cars where it's something I've been waiting for for so long so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna chill out here by the pool and might go for a swim might do a run and bomb off the top of there no, that's actually not safe for that point, is it? Uh, but I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's actually been a very chilled trip for me. I've been chilling out as well as filming. Uh, not sort of been filming as much, just because I've just been enjoying the weather, lying by the pool, and sometimes it's just really nice to do that as well. And Mercedes just put on a mega show. Such lovely people, and they really look after you. Like, the fact that I'm sit chilling here outside a sort of eight, nine million pound uh, apart, well, no, it's not really an apartment, it's a house. It's, uh, it's times like this you just have to take it in and just realise what the hell is going on. Hope you have enjoyed this video guys. Let me know what you think to the whole A45S and my new spec. I hope you're excited. It's coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already guys and I'll see you all very soon.